Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Yoshi Beast Mode 13 back with another video. And I'm just gonna finish off my favorite football teams in order video. Obviously, you can tell who the fuck number one is in the New York Giants. Now, I bet you're wondering why the Giants? They suck? That's fair. So, I became a Giants fan in 2005. I was three years old when I became a Giants fan. Now, you can't call me bandwagon because I was three. So, growing up, my mom was a Redskins fan or Washington football team. I don't know if that will get demonetized. Well, I'm not even monetized, so I don't know if that will get blocked or not. So, she was a Washington Redskins fan or Washington football team, whatever you guys want to call them. To me, they'll always be the Redskins. Like, the Chargers will always be from San Diego. The Rams will always be from St. Louis. The Raiders will always be Oakland. Um, and my dad was a Cowboys fan. I brought that up in my Cowboys video and my Redskins video. Now, this is two or three years in the making, me making this video. And I, honestly, it should have been easier to do. But my opinions have changed. Not that much on the other numbers. And the other numbers are relatively close, except for maybe the Saints would move up to number two on my list. Because I love the Saints, and Drew Brees is one of my favorite all-time players. That's simple. Now, the Giants. 2005, my I my uncle, who is a diehard Giants fan, love you Uncle Brett, I doubt you're watching this, but he introduced me to the Giants. So I got to see Tiki, Amani, those were the two guys that I grew up and I loved them. And then, fast forward in time, when I grew older and started knowing more about football, even though I'm a football player, yeah, MVS, and... And Northern Vermont Youth Football League to my senior season. I grew up being a Giants fan. The Giants always, in, like, for some reason, like uh, Madden 08, when Brett Favre was on the cover. I love that game. Because, one, the Giants were overpowered as fuck. Now you're like, how are they overpowered? Brandon Jacobs and Ahmad, Ahmad Bradshaw... Plexico Burrez, Amani Toomer, Mario Manningham, David Tyree, Eli Manning, O.C. Umanera, Justin Tuck, yeah, Jason Pierre-Paul. Now, that and Corey Webster, one of my fit. okay, my favorite player in Giants history, who is a defensive guy. Now, I know, who is he? You're young, you're 18, you won't remember Lawrence Taylor, Lawrence Taylor, Carl Banks, Emmett Tunnel. My favorite all-time Giants defensive player, at least, is Antrell Roll. He kind of got me more into football. Now, I always thought he had swag. I also like Corey Webster. Corey Webster was that player that every time I had a man and I was uh, the in the franchise mode, I would always re-sign him no matter what. 34, seven-year contract. Sign your way. Retires. Fuck. <laughs> um, now... In the 2010s, Victor Cruz was my guy. I loved him so much. He did the salsa. He, he fucking got touchdowns for us. Then Hakeem Nix was cool. I didn't really... Eh. Victor Cruz was my guy. 2014 comes around. Odell Beckham Jr. jumps on the scene. Now, I wouldn't say I was in... Like, obviously, I have a shirt of uh, NY13, Odell Beck, and then Beckham Jr. on the back. But I wouldn't call me an, uh, Beck. I didn't like Beckham to begin with, obviously. A promising rookie. <laughs> and then became a major douchebag. I would say it took me about... Let's see when he got hurt. Um, that would be his third season. No, if it his third season, he got hurt. Or did he? Sa no, the Saquon season, he asked for a re-signment. He was drafted in 2014. So, 2014, 2015, 2016. I would say 2015, yeah, maybe week week 7, he really started to like grow on me as a player. I thought he had, he had swag, obviously. And I liked the way he played. <clears throat> now, during the 2016, when we were making a playoff push... I didn't, at the end of the year, when he fucking 
dipped and went to a party on a boat with obviously Shep and a couple of the other guys, I was pissed. I was like, fuck, why? And then they lost the game. So that's why. Um, <clears throat> now. <laughs> now we're here. I lived through Eli Manning's well, start, technically, but I wouldn't remember anything, so 2002, 2005, I got to see, I got watched him play a little bit, and then, obviously, I grew up watching Eli Manning play, so that was cool, but I don't remember everything, now, I'm in the, now we're in the DJ area, era, Daniel Jones, who I think, now, let's go back to 2017, when the Giants absolutely sucked. And I made a video on why Geno Smith shouldn't have been starting. And I want Eli back. Because Eli. So. My thought process. You have Eli Manning. Geno Smith. Davis Webb at the time. I actually like. I did like Davis Smith coming out of California. So I honestly thought he might have a chance of starting over Geno Smith. But Ben McAdoo was like no Geno. But here's the thing. You could have ran your offense the exact same way you were running it with, with Davis Webb as Eli Manning. Davis was a little more mobile, but they both had cannons. Gino, well, he's on the fucking bench for the Seahawks getting a fucking paid. Now, move on to next year. Eli Manning. Like, Ben McAdoo, Jerry Reese, gone. I made a video on that. I love that video. Next next year, we're bringing Dave Gettleman, Pat Shermer. I was excited for the Pat Shermer uh, signing because the Vikings just made this insane playoff push. I was like, oh, that OC is going to be fucking dope. We fucking lose. Now, Gettleman. What did I like about him? He fucking cut Victor Cruz. I'm not okay with that. Why would you cut Victor Cruz? No. No, that was no, that was still still that was the Reese area. So Reese brought in B Marsh. I love B Marsh. He was he's also one of my favorite players of all time. If I do a top one hundred favorite players of all time, B Marsh will be towards the top. But I don't know if I'm gonna do I can't do it by position. The whole lineman wouldn't get enough love. A top one hundred favorite giants of all time. Boom. <laughs> LT. Ooh. Here you go. Um, uh, but I would say he's there. Uh, yeah, B. Marsh came to the Giants. I was excited. I was like, oh, shit. We got Shep. We got we got Odell. We got B. Marsh. And then Roger Lewis Jr. was on the team, too. And Damian Harris. Or Dwayne Harris. There, there was a mix-up in Madden. They named him Damien, but his real name was Dwayne. So, Dwayne Harris. I like Dwayne. Okay, and then we, we signed Evan Ingram. Wow. Well, we drafted Evan Ingram. I was like, okay, cool. Okay, they lose out that season. We're bringing Dave Gettleman. Pat Shermer. Okay, first move Gettleman makes. I'm gonna cut B. Marsh. Because he failed the drug test. Okay, understandable. That's okay. But you... Oh, we, and then, then he starts bringing in Josh Morrow. Who? Kareem Martin. Traded a fourth rounder for Alec Ogletree. Alec Ogletree had five picks. Yeah, congratulations. But that's an overrated stat. And like most people said, most things were... You cut Dominic Rogers Cromarty from our team. I was pissed about that. Then you brought in William Gay. I was like, okay, I like William Gay. He's a cool player. He's cool. He gets cut. You still got Jack Rabbit. The only move I like that uh, obviously drafted Saquon Barkley, Will Hernandez, uh, BJ. No, do we have a third round pick that draft? Kyle was a fourth rounder, so no. BJ was a four. I don't know when BJ was drafted. Who was our third round pick? <laughs> uh, didn't re-sign Landon Collins. Shame. I like. I did like L Elsie. 
And then, we, and then, okay, so obviously Dave Gettleman comes in. I fucking hate how Gettleman's handling this. So please, Dave, actually do the right thing. And get fired. Okay, next year of Dave Gettleman. Dave Gettleman coming in. Okay, we drafted Kyle Laletta. Okay, he's gonna be the future beyond Eli. Uh, he gets fucking arrested. Fuck. And he never got a chance. Okay, draft. We got six round, round, round number six pick. Oh, and then we trade Eli Manning. Uh, no, no, we did not trade Eli. Whoa, what the fuck's wrong with me? We traded. Odell Beckham Jr. to the Cleveland Browns for a fourth, a first, and Jabril Peppers. Now, here's the thing. I love Jabril Peppers as much as the next guy, but I think we got screwed. And then we tr we trade Olivier Vernon. I did like Olivier when he was on our team. Olivier Vernon and a fifth. I think we swapped fifths. And then we got Kevin Zeitler. I was like, okay, Zeitler's a good guy. Okay, who else are we bringing in? Marcus Golden. Okay, okay, another another uh, James Butcher guy. Okay, okay, okay. Who we got next? To, who we got next to Jack Rabbit on corner? Nobody. Curtis Riley. <laughs> and then he drafted DJ Daniel Jones, Sexy Dexy Lawrence, DeAndre Baker. Now, Dave, 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 Dave. I know, I know, I know. I'm not a big DJ fan. Now, did I say Josh Allen was on the board? I kind of wanted him. The pass rusher Josh Allen. Pass rusher Josh Allen. I love Saquon Barkley. We have we could have gotten pass rusher Josh Allen. And <laughs> my thought process... Get a quarterback at number 17. Now, which quarterback would I want? I did not make a draft video, but I, so, uh, Bake, no, Kyler was taken off the board first overall to the Arizona Cardinals. And then that left DJ, Dwayne, Drew, Locke. <coughs> As the next quarterbacks that kind of went off. Now, in all honesty, I didn't want Haskins because I don't think he would be complimentary. I didn't want DJ. I kind of wanted to get Drew Locke. I watched the most of him in college because Mizzou. I, you're like, why, did, why would you watch so many Mizzou games? I was interested in Drew Locke. So I kind of wanted to get him, but no. We ended up taking DJ and got yeah, mentored by Eli. So yeah. The other steal that we got in the draft, uh, we traded too much for um, to get that pick from the Seahawks to get DeAndre. Sorry, DeAndre, you 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 kind of uh, done all the shit this year. You couldn't wait until like your contract year to do it. God. Obviously, Darius Sling came out of this draft. A bunch of cool good guys came out of this draft. Um, Ryan Conley came out of this draft. I did like Conley, but, uh, DJ, my guy, having a great year in this 2020 season that's fucked, but Colt McCoy starting this Sunday, and I plan to release this either Saturday or Sunday before the Giants game. Okay, um... Holy fuck. And then, uh, this latest draft. Andrew Thomas, first round pick. Ugh. I didn't want... Ugh, I didn't want him. I didn't want him. I didn't want Andrew Thomas. I wanted Tristan Wirfs. But okay. I either wanted Wirfs, or if, or if Joe Judge didn't like DJ, I wanted Herbert. Herbert was my guy. Or we could have taken Tua and been like, fuck you. Uh, yeah. And then 
Num the second round. Oh my god. I fell in love. Dave Gittleman didn't fuck it up. We did take Xavier McKinney. Which I was surprised. I, th I had a first round grade on him. A lot of people did. But obviously first rounders sometimes fall into the background. And also Justin Jefferson should have went to the Eagles. No offense to Jalen Rager. And now we're in this season. The Giants. Saquon Barkley got hurt. Xavier McKinney did, doesn't play. Lorenzo Carter and and Hussein Zimenez hurt. We did claim Dante Pettis off waivers. Colt McCoy starting next game. The Giants brought in Joe Webb. But let's hope maybe this is the year we get to the playoffs with our shutdown defense. James Bradbury, Blake Martinez, thank you for bringing life back to this defense. Kyler Fackrell, I love you, brother, but you hurt, so yeah. Uh, Marcus Golden got traded back to Arizona for a six-rounder. Uh, that fucking sucks, but he's a James Betcher guy. I, he can't succeed out of that system. Unless maybe he goes to Arians in Tampa and maybe that fixes it. But yeah. I like our defense that we got going. Uh, I like our wideouts. CJ Board and Austin Mack are two of my boys. Dante Pettis, Sterling Shepard. There's, okay, Golden Tate, Sterling Shep Shepard, Darius Slayton, Dante Pettis, CJ Board, Austin Mack. Amazing six wide receivers. Evan Ingram, Caden Smith, Levine Tololo, and Eric Tomlinson. I'm surprised they brought Tomlinson back, but whatever. So let's go, Giants! And I liked, I did like the pickup of Carter Coughlin, the fifth rounder from Minnesota. I liked him, and I think he might be a good player. He might not be a 10 sack guy, but I can maybe see him being a, f a half, like five or six sack guy. In the NFL, he has the speed to do it. It just depends on how he goes about it. So I see maybe a, a special team guy or maybe a 5-6 sack guy. So I have high hopes for Coughlin. I like Tay Crowder. I didn't like the pickup of TJ Brunson or Chris Williamson. Those two confused me. I kind of was hoping to get a wide out in the later round. Maybe a 6th or 7th round wide out pick. Just to throw people off and maybe add a new guy. What we did, and Austin Mack and CJ. Um, and then quarterback, we let go of Alex Tanney and Cooper Rush. We decided to keep uh, Colt McCoy and DJ, obviously. And then Clayton Thorson's on our practice squad. I need to watch footage of him at uh, Nor Northwestern, but yeah. <clears throat> or we could always trade for the GOAT. Trace McSally. <laughs> but yeah, I hope y'all guys all enjoy. And this is the end to a series that should have ended a long fucking time ago. But in that video, I probably would have been talking about Odell Beckham Jr. And how great he is. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoy. And remember, stay beast. And I'm done with this series. But if you guys want me to do, as I'm doing a top 100 favorite songs, I can do a top 100 favorite of my all-time favorite Giants players or all-time 100 favorite football players. Put in the comments section down below. I know it's going to be a very long fucking video to watch. I know. But please watch it all so you can hear this message. 100 favorite football players of all time or just the top 100 favorite players of my team. I'm not going to do 100 players for each team. I would do a top 10 if you guys want me to do that. Although the Patriots will be on the shit list. I hope y'all enjoy and remember, stay beast. Bye.